world and welcome to Elevated Intuition. Today we are looking at the energies from February 22nd through February 28th. We are coming out of Mercury retrograde, woohoo! And um, this is, goes through the end of February for us. So if you are new to pick a card readings, what I have here is, well, really three cards piles. So this is the point of um, our reading where you engage your intuition to decide which pile is calling to you so that I can engage my intuition and then read the cards for you. This is also a general reading. So if you're getting into this and like you hear something that just does not resonate, that's okay. That message is not for you. That's for someone else. So take what resonates, leave the rest. And then if you get into a pile and you're like, oh, this does not really seem like me. And I kind of thought maybe there was this pile or the other pile, feel free to switch piles too. So you can listen to um, more than one pile as well. So we have pile one, two, and three. If you need a little bit more um, to help you choose, um, I will be popping some crystals on here in a moment. So I also have the timestamps down below. So if you know where you want to go, click that timestamp and I will meet you at your pile. Otherwise, I am giving you some crystals now. So for pile one, this is a selenite tower. So pile one is selenite. Pile two is tourmaline. This is a black crystal. So now I'm putting it on a black card. It's kind of hard to see, but we've got some shiny stuff in there. And for pile three, this is mica. So I'm going with a black and white theme here for our black and white cards. I got a new deck, so I'm super excited about that. You guys can tell me how you like that deck. And um, I will meet you at your pile. <laughs> Hello, group one. If you picked one or the Selenite Tower, you are in the right spot. I have cards for us. These are new cards, so let me know how you like them. Um, I also have some Oracle cards I will put aside for now. But I really wanted to start with this one. These are, these cards go back to an Archangel. So I thought it would be fun to see if there were any archangels that like resonated for you or that you should work with this week. And um, this archangel, which is depicted here on the star card, is Jophiel. So she is the archangel of beauty. Um, we have roses back here. She's associated with roses because, well, roses are beautiful, <laughs> but also that she sees the world through rose-colored glasses. And it so um, relates to the star, which is why she's on the star card in this deck, is have faith and the future is bright, dreams come true, positive changes that bring an end to challenging times, and there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So in my intro, and um, this could resonate for you, this may not, uh, but I mentioned that Mercury retrograde is coming to an end. I cannot tell you how many, um, because I'm in a lot of spiritual groups, I'm in a lot of astrology groups. I can't tell you how many people comment on how difficult Mercury retrograde is because it is challenging because it brings things up for us that we thought we had um, dealt with. It also is challenging because it deals with communication. So um, I know my, my, there's a business that I work with, their email always goes down during Mercury retrograde. It is crazy that that happens. But um, we're coming out of that. So I hope you feel like a sense of relief this week, that maybe things that were like, you felt like you're walking through quicksand when you're trying to talk to people, that that is lifting, that, um, you know, you may have been in emails, some like electronic um, communications, like people weren't getting your texts, or they would get see a comment from you, and they would just think the absolute worst, like totally take it out of out of um, context or did take it a different, completely different way than the way that you meant it. 
um, those things should be coming to an end. So Joe Fiel, um, positive thinking is, is something that she's associated with. And if you need that, um, breath of fresh air, you need like a different kind of, um, you know, the star is like a higher perspective. You need to pull yourself out of like your situation that you're in and look at it more objectively. Um, Archangel Jophiel can help you with that and you can pray to her or maybe write journal entries to her um, to have you, her come in and help you see beauty in the situation and what you're going through. So let's take a look at the other cards that we have. And this is the um, page of pentacles. So I love the card. He's kind of got this like um, pentacle in his hand, the money in his hand, but it's the, a new beginning of um, manifestation, something like a financial opportunity. Um, so if you felt like recently, the past couple weeks, that something has kind of been holding you back, you may feel like... Um, now is a new opportunity to go and pursue those kinds of things. There's an, like an, an excitement about this too, like new manifestations, new opportunities, just uh, could also be skill development. Like you want to learn something new, um, just new project, DIY project. This could be a hobby or this could be like even a new job because pentacles have to deal with the material, um, what we do every day, uh, uh, what we're doing here on earth. And sometimes we get like so much into like the grind of our routine and doing things every day that we need a higher perspective and we need to look at things in a new way. So very nice. And then we have the Hermit. The Hermit is a major arcana card and he is all about introspection. Um, what is going on in your mind, soul searching? What do you really want? And you may have felt like recently that you haven't had an opportunity to just sit down and think about what you want. Because a lot of times we get so caught up in the things that we have to do. Like, okay, we have to go to work every day. We have to make sure that our kids eat. We have to make sure that they're dressed, they're clothed. We have to make sure that our pets are taken care of. We, we have all of these re external responsibilities. And the hermit is just like, hey, you know what? Take a minute, take a time, and think about you for a second. What is it that you want? What are your major goals? And that could um, definitely have an impact on why you have this new idea, this new thing that you want to do. Maybe it's even a new hobby, like you um, acrylic paint pour or something that you've never tried before, but you really just are interested in it and drawn to it. And you think that it would be something for you to do. And it really has nothing else to deal with anybody but you. And this week, you're just getting this opportunity to kind of think about yourself and maybe you haven't had that opportunity for a while. Aha, and then we have the Eight of Wands. So I feel like, um, you know, once you have that idea, this opportunity that you, you kind of want to pursue something like um, eight of wands is a really fast moving energy and it feels like all of these things are just coming at you like super fast but that's good because a lot of times we bring this on ourselves like where you just so like you know what i'm going to take this step and especially with manifesting like if you have this idea of what you want to manifest and you take this step forward um in your thoughts or what you're attracting and what you want like all of a sudden it's like poof like it all <laughs> comes to you and sometimes it can be overwhelming, but it's like, whoa, wait a second. Okay, well, I did ask for all of this. So appreciate it that it's coming to you. And when you do take that step, like things in the universe align to help you out with that stuff. Um, Joe Fiel could be helping you out with that stuff. 
Aha, and then we have the world. I love the world card here. So the world is the end of the major arcana cards. And look at this. I mean, I knew that we were going to have a major arcana card because I specifically pulled that to with the star, but you have the hermit and now you have the world. Like these are major, major energies. So this is a really good, and I almost feel like freeing week for you. Um, the world is about cycles. Um, I kind of love this like victory thing that she's doing too with like, um, she seems just really happy. Um, I also like how the four elements here uh, combine together, that things are working together. So far, you have the, um, the pentacles and the wands working for you, but this is also a sense that other things are working for you in the world. Um, it, we do have like a cycle going on, you know, like seasons or... Um, other, you know, like the football season is a cycle. Um, even just, we're talking about winter going into spring is a cycle. And I feel like we're turning into a new cycle for you. But because it's the end of the major arcana, like something could be ending as well. Something difficult ending. <laughs> this kind of with the star was talking about with the light at the end of the tunnel. And you just get this sense of like, yes, I am moving forward. Like you felt, I almost feel like you felt pent up for so long. And we have this energy coming in like whoosh. Things can change in an instant. And it's really interesting how life is like that, right? That we just sit here and sit here and sit here and like, hmm, I really want something to change. I really want something to change. And then when it happens, it is so fast. And I feel like that's what's gonna happen for you this week. So next we have the eight of pentacles, but in reverse. So we have another pentacle, another eight. Um, in reverse, it talks about your self-development and some perfectionism. So I feel like that maybe things are moving fast for you because, and you're not 100% um, okay with that or you're a little bit um, concerned about it because you do have this high level of what you expect about yourself and the things that you put out there. So you could be feeling like the quality of whatever that is, like your project, um, could be compromised uh, because of the way that things are moving so fast. But it's still like a very good card. <laughs> it's excellent for you to have here. Um, it's just kind of like, you know, both of the pentacles like anchoring you in, um, making you feel grounded. And this is very much like you working on your own goal. Um, if it were upright, it could be that somebody is teaching you something. Um, and I still, that could still be something that you're looking for because obviously the the page is somebody who's brand new to something. So you are looking at whatever this new um, thing it is that you want to do. Like I, I gave the example of like acrylic paint pour as like a DIY project that um, don't get too caught up in like your perfectionism that you're not like maybe you're not happy with it because it's not perfect like the person who has done this paint pour 150 times and you this is your first attempt like understand that the master has failed more times than the apprentice has even tried so failure is part of that and of course you know um just keep that higher perspective. Like, just be excited that you're doing this. That is something that you've asked to do um, and you really, really wanted to do. And then we have the Five of Swords reversed. So this is actually a better card reversed than it is upright. And I'll show it to you upright. These are um, people with swords and they're fighting each other. And um, this could also be like an internal conflict where uh, like ideas are coming in and um, you kind of like have intrusive thoughts, which would be negative thoughts. But reversed kind of gives you an idea that you're working past that, you're getting past that. 
It could also mean that if you are dealing with other people this week, and like I said, we're coming out of Mercury retrograde and we could have had a lot of um, misunderstandings, that those things are being cleared up for you. That people are um, being kinder to each other, you're being kinder to them, them to you, you're making amends, people are saying you're, they're sorry, there's forgiveness going around, which is always great, letting go of past resentments because those things, you know, they don't serve you, they don't serve your friends or family, and um, it just looks like overall like a really good positive week where you're moving forward pretty quickly with some things that you've had on your list to do. So let's take a look at these cards. And we have empowerment and belief. So let's start with empowerment. Um, the frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely, um, uniting us with others in a deep trust that we all are connected through the same source. So I love this. We just talked about other people and forgiveness. I think that really relates to empowerment because the thing is with when you're holding resentments, those things kind of like hold you down and weigh you down and keep you down um, where it really is just forgiveness and letting those things go. Don't carry that anchor around with you any longer. I also love this empowerment card where we have like, this almost looks like her, where she's got her arms in the air here with the world. Um, see how cool and similar that is? Um, just kind of like a victory and it's a very light, like it's empowering, but it's so light, light energy. And it just um, kind of like transmutes things that have been holding us back. Um, I also like the red here that very much reminds me of your pentacles where you are grounded here, but like growing forward. <clears throat> I know we're getting a little, <laughs> that's okay. We're getting a little um, um, esoteric, I, I guess, but um, that's okay. This is a good week to do that. And then belief. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. So let's talk about gifts and talents here. Um, these pentacles are very much about gifts and talents. And I think that, you know, you're discovering a new one, <clears throat> which is very, very exciting. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then um, belief is so much to do with the star and faith that um, you're believing in yourself and you have faith that beautiful things are coming for you or coming to you really because you're attracting them. They're good, beautiful things are coming to you because you've done some work here, some introspection, you know what you want. So you're attracting those things and you're letting go of beliefs or um, ne these negative attachments um, and, and negative beliefs, so like negative beliefs that somebody has done you wrong. So you're letting go of and forgiving people and really going into this week very optimistic like the star wants us to be. So this looks like a beautiful week, group one. And um, I think that's all I have for you. And I will see you in the next reading. <laughs> reading. Have a fantastic week. Hello, group two. If you picked the black tourmaline, you are in the right place. I have some oracle cards here that I'm going to put aside to the end. And I wanted to start off with this card. So I, this is the hermit. And um, I wanted to do these cards in particular or very specifically because they um, go relate back to an archangel. So um, as I was shuffling through, I wanted each each pile to have their own archangel to work with this week. And um, the archangel, which is depicted on this card, um, RZ, which is Raziel. And this archangel is a wizard. Um, our, 
<laughs> um, Raziel is, I love the fire here in front, like kind of like there's a knowledge there. So let's talk about the hermit and then we'll talk about Raziel. So time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude, shine your light as an example to others, seek out and become a spiritual mentor and self-discovery. So you could be a spiritual mentor. Really though, the best way to mentor is just to um, be yourself, like shine your light, just be that example. And if you need a little bit extra help or you're having problems, Raziel can help you. So Raziel understands esoteric information, helps heal past life issues, and interprets dreams. Raziel is the secrets of of God. That's what the name means. And Raziel, there, this rainbow here, like that's coming off, is intentional because Raziel often appears, shows up in rainbows, and um, a lot of times rainbows in, pr in prisms. So when the prisms um, break up that light, it's really interesting too because um, light as information. Um, is something that I've been looking into recently. So it's interesting that Raziel shows up in prisms because that's what prisms do. They take white light and they um, break it apart into this rainbow. So that is light. So you're getting information here like basking in the sun might help you. But overall, this week with the hermit is meant for you to kind of do some introspection and soul searching. Meditation is what that set is what it is for you. So let's see if there's any more information with the rest of the cards and I'm sure there will be. So the first card we get is the four of pentacles. So this is really interesting and for, you know, this is like very anchored, um, energy, kind of almost a stuck energy. So four of pentacles is you are just like sitting here grasping onto like all of your money and there's nothing at all wrong with saving money. And um, four is a number of security. Um, there's nothing at all wrong with looking for that. Where it does become an issue is if you're harming yourself by doing that. You're not going with the flow of things. Um, you're just kind of like um, sitting there all alone, just kind of with your fortune. Uh, it almost reminds me a little bit of King Midas. You know, he loved his material things and money so much that um, you, he had the Midas touch. Everything he touched turns to gold. But then he didn't have like those human connections because who was it? Is it his son that he turned to gold? I mean, that's very sad. You don't want to <laughs> do that. But it's a very stuck energy and it's a very kind of like one dimensional energy. And I completely get it because of um, kind of like even in the winter, I kind of almost feel like we're a little bit stuck in where we are anyway. We're not moving, a, you know, we, pandemic <laughs> as well. Um, we've also come off of a week where much of the United States has kind of really been hunkered down and looking for warmth. So we kind of want to move out of that energy though, because it seems like it could be harming us. And then we have the 10 of pentacles. So this is a very beautiful card. It's one of the best cards in the deck. 10 is a completion number. So where four is security, 10 is security as well, because it's kind of like um, reach our financial goals. So you have through like really major saving, like reached these goals and maybe it's time to turn your attention towards something else. And 10 is also like more though. It is very much about, um, like security for your family, not just for yourself. And you should be really proud of yourself for being able to provide that. And maybe you are kind of in this 
um, mode because you have been thinking about your family and you haven't really been thinking about yourself and your own goals um, with the hermit here. And then we have the magician in reverse. So this does not surprise me with the four of pentacles because there are some great things about the four of pentacles that I mentioned, like, you know, saving your money and be feeling secure. But there are things that you're blocking. There's blocking like this flow of um, magic. <laughs> <laughs> that is coming from the universe that you're not allowing in because the, the magician here is in reverse. Um, per, best case scenario, like we would want this magician um, to be upright. And um, it's so, so connected with the Archangel um, at, um, Rez, Rezael because that Archangel is like the, the wizard. Um, so helping you break this um, kind of almost scarcity thinking and open up some possibilities and some ideas for you. Like Raziel should be able to help you with that and discover like, your own magic. Um, within the tendrils here, we have wands, swords, cups, and pentacles, which indicates that the magician has all of these things at um, his disposal to manifest whatever it is that he wants to manifest. But be part of manifesting, though, is being in a like a certain flow and releasing things <laughs> that don't serve us and bringing in things that do. Um, this card also, the four of pentacles is interesting because we have this, this person kind of like reaching out for help. And the king here who has plenty is kind of like, ah, no, this is all mine. But the magician wouldn't do that. The magician, because this is kind of like scarcity thinking that um, there's not enough for others or there's not enough for me, that kind of thing, where the magician knows that there's enough for everyone, that we use our magic and work together and use the elements and manifest those things and manifest um, wealth and abundance for everyone. Like my abundance, what I have in my life, doesn't take away from others. It actually helps because the hermit here, like you shine your light as an example, that you are an example that others can manifest as well. And then we have the king of cups in reverse. So kings are about control and, um, Cups is also, you know, I talked about flow. I talked about in flow kind of being halted here, which I see that in like three cards. King of Cups, reversed, Magician reversed, and the, the Four of Pentacles. So we really need to work on this idea and get back into the flow and get back into um, like control is really an illusion. <laughs> we don't get to control that. So I feel like you're just really trying to control and that's why you're restricting things. Um, really interesting is, and this just popped into my head, um, anorexics, a lot of times they, res you know, they restrict what they eat because that is something that they can control. But it is not healthy for them. It's not good for them. Like they are in control, but it is not um, a healthy state of being. And I feel like um, we need to work on your state of being. And then look at this. We have the sun, but in reverse. So the sun is never a well, some people will say it, it can be negative, but I don't ever see the sun as a negative. The sun is a very beautiful, happy card. And I do see it as a very positive card, but in reverse, there's something missing. And I feel like, you know, we have the magician in reverse. We have the sun in reverse. Um, we have the king of cups reverse. And with this um, four of 
pentacles, I, I feel like there's some joy that is missing that you need to understand the joy is in the journey that we, um, happiness is, you know, and that could be part of the, the, um, the king of cups in reverse too, because the king of cups is control over emotions. But, you know, if you just control your emotions by never having emotions, <clears throat> that's a problem. And I feel like you need to connect with your inner child. We need to figure out what makes you happy again. And that is going to help so many other things. Because if you, you can't manifest unless you get to a point of joy and contentment. And then finally, our last card is the star, which is great. This is a beautiful, beautiful place to end for your week. Um, it's really interesting because we had the hermit and the star in group one, but reversed because obviously um, I don't have two in the deck. So I had the star here and the hermit um, out here, but um, de definitely a different, re even a different reading, even though we have the same cards, it's just, I'm, my camera decided to die right in the middle of me talking about the star card. So let's talk about her. So she is all about hope and faith. And um, that's why I see you really, if you work with your archangel, um, Raziel, that you're going to be able to turn this um, magician around and really just start going with the flow of life and, and letting go of the things that are restricting you. So she is so much about hope and seeing things from a higher perspective, letting go too, because in the, in the major arcana, she comes right after the tower. The tower is something like, um, like a catastrophic event where life forces you to let things go. But, um, life isn't forcing you to do that here. It's just kind of like a recognition that where you are is maybe not your happiest place that you could be and that you're sitting here restricting yourself and you have this power you have you are the magician you can be the magician and you have this archangel that is ready to work with you all right so let's take a look here we have alchemy and heart chakra alchemy does not surprise me at all when you have the Hermit with um, Archangel Raziel, and we have the Magician. So alchemy, the frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us has the potential to accent, access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemists to perform the miracles of trans mutation and the miracles of transmutation that they're talking about what the ancients did apparently they um created they transformed metal into gold so when we are talking about that like a transformation like this could just be like your diy like you go to the dollar store and you take something and you transform it into something beautiful but it's using your creativity and your abilities to create something new and th this is so connected like i said to these other cards the magician like what is it that makes you the magician and but you've been holding back right now this week you are moving out of that and getting out of that energy and really coming into your own energy um, and, and transforming things. And it could, like I said, like it could be a DIY project. It could be anything like as simple as that up into like discovering the secret of life and, um, hint for you secret of life over here with the sun is about joy and about finding that happiness and harmony within yourself. It's also an understanding here with alchemy is that, um, you know, a lot of times we t in the spiritual community, they talk about our soul being a part of, 
in our consciousness being a part of the universe and universe as Y-O-U, as like you are the universe, that um, we are all connected in that. So that is talking about when, with our manifestations that we have the power of creation, like we have the power of God inside of us and um, understanding that and honoring that and but then using that in our manifestations to bring forth um, that which we desire here in our, our material experience. And then we have the heart chakra. Again, I'm not surprised about this at all, especially with the sun and reverse and even the star. The frequency of the heart chakra, the green flower of life, supports our capacity to love deeply and unconditionally. Its healing properties harmonize the mind and body. And this is part of love and joy that I feel like you've been cutting yourself off from and rediscover. And I am going to give you an exercise here. Yeah, I'm giving you homework. <laughs> and the homework is um, this really awesome exercise. I will write it down in the description so you have a little bit more information. I even am doing a video on it. I shot it. I just haven't put it up. But the video or the, it, the exercise is a journaling exercise you take a piece of paper and you write what does my soul want to tell me today and you close your eyes and just like you know be at peace for a moment and then when you open your eyes you spend about two to five minutes just stream of consciousness writing down what your soul wants to tell you today. And the reason I'm giving that to you is your heart chakra here. You, it is amazing, it is so cool. You just feel it in your heart chakra and you just feel like this flood of love. And um, it's just a really super amazing exercise that I think could really open some things up for you this week, group two. So this is actually a beautiful week. The restrictions that you have, it seem like they're self-imposed and just looking at things from a different perspective, a higher perspective, that's what the star is about. Um, you know, with some introspection here and the magic is crazy with the music, musician, with the magician, with um, Raziel, and with alchemy. It's just crazy. You guys, the only thing that's holding you back is yourself. And what you need to find is this love and joy. And you've got this. This is going to be a great week. Thanks, group two. Um, I will see you in the next reading. Hello, group three. If you picked the mica, you are in the right spot. Let's take a look at the cards. So I'm going to put these away for a, a moment. And um, the first card we're going to look at is actually this one. I wanted to pull um, cards specifically, one um, for each pile, uh, an energy for the week um, to work on or that's going to be influential. And then these also relate to an archangel. So this is ego, the illusion of being trapped accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness, um, addictions or unhealthy habits. So if you had made like these really great goals for yourself for like um, as New Year's resolutions, are you still on that path? Are you still eating well? Are you still um, doing positive things for yourself and for your body? Are you surrounding yourself by around with positive people? Um, are you happy in your relationships? Are they supportive? Things like that. So we are um, calling in Archangel Michael. So Michael is represented here on this card. Archangel Michael has this sword that cuts ties, that cuts bonds to things that are no longer serving us. Um, it, addictions like could just even be like sugar or caffeine. I mean, those are the ones that um, have an issue for me. And we're coming off of um, Valentine's Day. I don't know how your household is, but um, we had a ton of candy. And now personally, I'm looking at eating better. And that is something that um, I could ask for help from Archangel Michael with. Archangel Michael is a protector. Um, 
it helps with fears and unhealthy attachments, sever these attachments. Like um, you can either pray to Archangel Michael or use journal to Archangel Michael. Um, it, envision the sword here coming in and helping you cut those unhealthy ties whether it is a an unhealthy friendship or relationship or even something with um, a, a parent or family member that is really unhealthy for you right now um, you can kind of cut that tie and it's more of an emotional bond for you because you could cut people out of your life, but a lot of times it's really kind of the things that they say to us that are have, that, that that's a problem. Um, this helps with your self confidence, help you find clarity, life purpose. Yeah, this is a big <laughs> week. These are big energies, and um, also very interesting. Archangel Michael is the archangel to fix broken things. So it's not just like broken relationship or you as a broken person with unhealthy habits and addictions. It is like physical broken things, like your car breakdown. Or, you know, we're coming off of a week where we had um, record lows all across the country. Um, things have kind of broken down a little bit. Do we have broken pipes? Just things like that that we could be dealing with this week in both um, spiritual and physical things with our ego and Archangel Michael to help us deal with that. Then we have the two of wands in reverse. So um, I'll go hold this up right so you can kind of get an idea of what this looks like. It's somebody facing the other way. We have a wand here and a wand there. Um, in reverse, so Two of Wands is about planning, but in reverse, it's more introspective and it brings it into some personal goals. Um, we also could have like a fear of the unknown or a lack of planning because it's in reverse. Uh, interesting enough, um, well, Archangel Michael here can help us with fears, but interesting enough, like the more we plan for something that we're interested in, um, the less fears we have around it. So that could be a way for you um, to get past whatever that is that you're afraid of. Perhaps it is, you know, just a fear about finding a new job, something like that. We'll put some things in motion. First of all, um, introspection here, what is it that your ideal job has? What is it that you as the ideal person um, cr earning money from that job, what are your qualities, okay? So if you write down a few of those things and then you're like, okay, my ideal position, I need this skill, this skill, this skill, but I only have these two, I need to work on this other one and plan for that. How are you going to round yourself out? Um, are you going to accomplish or get those skills because you're gonna go back to school? Well, how is that gonna look? How, what are you going to do to accomplish that? This is the week to look into those things. Maybe your ideal here isn't about a job, maybe it is your ideal body. Um, what is it? Are, are these addictions like sugar addiction or caffeine or some sort of food addiction holding you back from and you're just afraid that you're going down the wrong path, um, that you're going to be unhealthy? We're not looking at that path. Don't look at the bad path. Look at the good path. Um, what does you and your healthy body look like? What are the things that you are eating? What are the things that you are doing? And then make small steps towards that. This is not a big leap. These are small steps and these are compounding small steps. Like, okay, I am not gonna eat chocolate. I'm done with chocolate. And then tomorrow I'm going to give up soda because it's a bunch of empty calories. And then the next day I am going to walk. I'm gonna walk 10 minutes every day. And then once you start getting that into a routine, you increase it. I add more vegetables in. <laughs> now I walk longer and those small steps start getting you to a large goal. Then we have um, five of wands in reverse. So five of wands 
is, if you can see this, these are people, they've got sticks and they're hitting each other <laughs> for whatever reason. <laughs> um, it, it, it is almost, it can be kind of a healthy competition kind of thing, but in reverse, again, we're bringing that back to ourselves, back to introspection. What is going on in your head? Are you, do you have intrusive thoughts that are telling you things like, I'm never going to lose this weight. I'm never going to get that job. I'm never going to understand this concept. Things like that. I'm not good enough. Stop it with that crap. Okay, <laughs> the, call in Archangel Michael. Um, kind of like close your eyes and imagine yourself like a thought bubble that these things are popping up in your head and have Archangel Michael cut those bonds with that sword, let those thoughts go, and start turning your attention towards some affirmations, find some healthy affirmations. Another thing that I like to do when I have intrusive thoughts, like these things that are just hold me down, and it's really hard to get out of bed in the morning. I have been there. Um, I kind of like where your third eye is, um, I know my face isn't on camera, but I'm touching it right now. So there you go. Um, your third eye, like I close my eyes and I have like this really negative thought. And I, where my third eye is, I imagine that being like an eject button. And I'm like, nope, not today. And eject that. Kind of like um, you've seen those t-shirts or cups or even that saying or memes where it's like, not today, Satan. Nope, I'm not dealing with that crap. I'm not dealing with these negative thoughts. Get rid of it and bring in some positive thoughts behind there. And oh my gosh, this is so, so about you this week. So this is the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups like is a new beginning because it's one, but this is reversed. So a lot of times we are talking about pouring emotions and nurturing spirit for others out of this cup, like we're pouring from this cup. In reverse, again, this is all about you, showing yourself that self-love, finding those positive affirmations, doing things that um, are for you, for your self-care. I mean, we're after Valentine's Day. Think about ways to love yourself. Is it a bath? Um, is it, you know, like shaving your legs? I know that's really crazy, but that's something like you, you can tell I've given up when I don't do that. So um, I have a really positive attitude when I do do that. It feels, it feels good to me. That's um, one thing for me. Is it doing your nails? Is it getting a haircut? What is it that you can do for yourself? It doesn't even need to be big. I know I told you to give up chocolate. Maybe it's one piece of chocolate. Do something positive for yourself this week. Then we've got the Ten of Swords. So, um, First of all, 10 is a completion number. So whatever is going on that's really negative, that is like feels like it's stabbing you in the back, this is the ending of that. That is going away. Probably because we've talked about here uh, ways to get rid of that. We're calling in Archangel Michael to help us. We are using... Um, divine energy to be like, you know what? I am done with this crap. I am getting past it. I know that I've been wounded in the past, but it's not going to bother me anymore. There is this new um, sunrise coming up. It's a new day. I've survived this and we are getting through this. This is going to be positive. I'm letting go of all these negative thoughts. I'm thinking about myself. I'm putting plans in motion for me. And this can also, you know, I, I talked about letting go of relationships with negative people. This can very much can be in the physical world with negative people. Like um, you have put something out there and then the the feedback that you've gotten is not really very positive and you've taken it very personally. What you need to understand is like you put something out there like I am going to college or I'm going to school, back to school, or I'm gonna learn this idea. And if you get negative things back, if you get negative feedback back, whether whatever it's about, 
those negative comments have more to do with the person making that comment than it does with you. Meaning that is a reflection of them and not you. So stop internalizing that. If you put out an idea that you're really excited about, you thought about this and you want to do something and somebody comes back, well, that seems dangerous or that seems expensive or that seems whatever, that is a reflection of their values, not you. And so many times I see people like, get really super excited about something like an idea that they're really, they, they want to do, like they get this, you know, they're just excited about it and they put it out there. They put a picture of what they're doing and they have like a, a well-meaning family member. It doesn't even need to be um, that negative. They say something and it just deflates you. It just deflates your balloon. And that's what this is. But remember, um, put that protection around yourself, worry about you, and by all means, share your positive things. Like if you think it's something positive and you're getting negative feedback, understand that negative feedback says more about that person making that negative feedback than it does about you. So next we have the Nine of Cups in reverse, and this is more you, more inner happiness. First of all, Nine of Cups is the wish card. It is about everything being fulfilled, all of your wildest dreams, just being in a really good spot, emotionally fulfilled and being very, very happy. It's reversed, so I know that you're not quite there yet. We've got work to do, we've talked about it. It's not a surprise, we've just talked about it. Don't worry, you'll get there. But in reverse, it also so, so much points to your inner happiness and your introspection. And that's what you need to pay attention and worry about. Worry about you. And now we have the, um, this is the queen. This is, <laughs> I had to um, look at it a little bit here. Uh, this is the queen of swords, but in reverse. So I think that there is an issue with boundaries. I think you need to put up some boundaries. Um, uh, swords is about communications. We've just come out of Mercury retrograde. I mentioned that in the intro. And uh, so in, um, some things could have been crossed up here that maybe like you've taken things um, out of context. You have not, that's not really what people meant by that. Or even you put something out there and other people are upset about it. Um, this is about creating the, that communication. So I see so many times where people go to a group or a forum and they ask a question and they really just like open themselves up. But, and then the feedback they get is not necessarily positive or, and again, like all of that negative feedback says more about this, the person making it than it does about you. So the Queen of Swords, when she's upright, she has um, really, you know, she's got healthy boundaries around her. She doesn't let people upset her or rattle her. So I think that is what you need to do and, and think about that. I also love this butterfly here that we're gonna get a transformation. So even though we have like almost all of these cards um, reversed, it's just really about introspection and really about you thinking about yourself and um, planning what you need to do here. So let's take a look at these guys. Romantic love, the frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with ref with a and reflection of a conscious lover. So this is interesting because I didn't expect it at all, really, when I'm looking at the cards because I'm like, this is about you, this is about you, this is about you. But really, romantic love starts off with you and starts off with you loving and accepting yourself. And once you do that, then the next step is like if that if you're looking for a partner love and accept yourself um set your own goals here set your boundaries here and then you're okay to pursue 
um, romantic love and a partner. And I love it too with Archangel Michael because a lot of times, you know, giving our heart to somebody is very it's frightening, it's fearful because we don't know what they're gonna do with it. But if you love yourself first, then you are protected and then um, have our Archangel Michael here help you with your fears related to that. And then um, one thing about this romantic love that I remember from the book that I love about it, especially in this book, is it talks about the most any lover can do for us is bring us closer to ourselves. So even though we don't have anything really about a partnership here, and it's all about ourselves and all about self-love, romantic love is really a reflection of your self-love as well. So I love that for you. And then allowance, I love this for you as well. Ah, very interesting because we almost have a sense of this. It's a fat butterfly, but it almost looks like a butterfly with a big fat body, like a head here, head there, and we had a butterfly there. I know, maybe I'm stretching it, but allowance. Um, the frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment, without opinion, without fear. Remember, we're bringing in Archangel Michael to transmute our fear. And without resistance, when we allow, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. So first thing in co-creation, like we are all co-creators of the universe. Um, we're creating our experience here. The first thing with co-creation is... Um, our own boundaries, our own, you know, ex what is our own goals, defining that. And then we can um, go out into the universe and co-create. And it's a much better energy than like this 10 of swords where we feel like um, we put ourselves out there and we get really knocked down. Co-creation is an allowance and allow people, allow positive people to come in here and um, help us with our goals as we are helping them. But you have to come from this internal position of self-love and this um, you know, love yourself and then you radiate out this like love and then it is returned to you. So it's like ripples in a pond, like you throw a rock in a pond, it ripples out with love and then that comes back in for you. <laughs> So I hope that makes sense. Thank you, group three. That's what I have for you today. This looks like a great week. I know it's kind of scary when you see all of these cards in reverse, but it gives like a lot of detail of um, just hang in there and you got to plan for yourself and you got to think about yourself and put those healthy boundaries around you. Now, don't worry what other people are doing. Um, you are on your right path when it's, you know, all about you. And then you can um, fill in the blanks and be able to help other people and so on and so forth, like possibly next week. So thank you, group three. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you in the next reading.